this is Chris. He's a brilliant game designer and is defining the gameplay. This is Amelia. She's designing and creating characters for the same video game. This is Robbie. He's producing music and sound effects for a video game. This is Taylor. He's developing a business plan and social media strategy to sell the game. Unfortunately, their project is at a standstill because they are missing an engineer. But wait, here comes Tobiah. Tobiah is a software engineer and he is furiously writing code and connecting all the pieces together. A game is art and engineering. When you're playing a game, what it really is, is a piece of software with art running on top of it. So if the game doesn't react and interact in a realistic way, then it's not fun. And the engineers are what bring all of those components to life. So that is critical for us. It's true that the more innovative the project, uh, the more R&D is required and the more engineering support you're gonna need. And I think that's going to be critical going forward. I look forward to a more robust engineering program here at Cogswell because that basically gives us a lot more creative opportunities uh, from the art side. So if we have engineering support on all these different projects, uh, we can be more innovative and, uh, and have that structure that will support us going forward. Audio sometimes requires engineering as well. We had a situation recently with a game project where an, an audio asset was needed to be used in such a way that was not supported by the game engine. And so it required some programming, some customization for the audio asset to be used in the way that the project required. Our audio students understand that it's not enough to have individually produced work on their portfolio. To get a job once they graduate, they also have to show that they can work together as a production team. This is where the idea came from, to develop a project that follows a true industry production pipeline and breaks down the barriers between departments so that Cogswell audio and animation students can work together. So in the Innovation Lab, I envision we'll take the best artists we have over here and capabilities in the school and then take engineers, which will grow in-house. And, you know, you can have the best artist, but if he doesn't know how to code, he cannot get it to the mass market. And if you have the greatest engineer and he knows perfectly how to code and do everything very efficiently, but doesn't have something that appeals to people, it's not going to go as well. So this is where things are going to be combined from the artistic side and from the engineering. We launched the first master's program last year in entrepreneurship and innovation. Students are showing interest from around Silicon Valley, across the U.S. The intersection of art, technology, and project-based learning is a perfect environment for entrepreneurs testing new ideas. An entrepreneur might have a great idea, but not have all the skills or team to execute it. At Cogswell, we help fill the gaps. We're a mirror of the Silicon Valley ecosystem. For instance, we've recently launched The Pulse, a marketing, PR, and design center for projects and companies launched at the school. It's a resource for all entrepreneurs at Cogswell, master students, undergrads, and staff. By creating the Silicon Valley ecosystem within Cogswell, we're able to foster an environment that screams innovation and entrepreneurship. We can be the epicenter for both national and international students that are seeking a launching pad to embark on new innovation and ingenious ventures. We are the catalyst that can prepare individuals and teams to drive their ideas to the next level.